Can an EV built in Africa conquer American roads without ever needing a plug? We're about to find out. Get ready to witness history as we push Africa's first self-powered electric vehicle to its limits on an epic cross-country range test right here in the USA. Forget everything you thought you knew about electric vehicles. This is not about charging stations, not about plugging in overnight, not about long waits at rest stops. This is about a car that generates its own energy as it moves. It's about a dream that started in Africa and has now landed on American soil, ready to prove itself in the toughest conditions possible. The aircraft doors open, and there it is, the self-powered EV rolling out of the cargo hold like a secret weapon arriving for battle. The first thing you notice is its design, sleek yet practical, futuristic but grounded in purpose. Onlookers stare, whispering, what do they mean by self-powered? How is that even possible? The claim alone sounds bold, almost impossible. But here it is, wheels touching the ground in America for the very first time. This isn't just a car. It's a statement. It's a challenge to everything we've been told about electric vehicles so far. And we're going to push it to the limit. The plan? Drive across America without stopping to charge. No plugs. No gas. No compromises. Just pure innovation at work. The vehicle's creators in Africa called it a revolution. Now it's our job to test whether that revolution can survive the open highways, the mountains, the deserts, and the cities of America. The hood opens, and we get our first real look at what makes this EV different. Instead of the familiar battery pack configuration and charging ports, there's a complex energy system built to generate electricity continuously. It's not solar panels. It's not wind turbines. It's something entirely new. Engineers describe it as an advanced hybrid of magnetic induction and kinetic energy capture, a system that refuels itself as it moves. Skeptics call it impossible. Supporters call it the future. We're not here to argue. We're here to test it. Diagnostics begin, checking every part of the car before the journey. Data monitors are installed to track energy flow in real time. Every mile will be recorded, every fluctuation analyzed. Because if this works, the world needs to know. The road trip begins in New York City, a landmark location that symbolizes ambition and global visibility. Crowds gather as the EV pulls up, cameras flashing, people asking, what is this? Some shake their heads in disbelief. Others cheer, sensing they're witnessing history in the making. And then, with a quiet hum, the journey begins. The first leg takes us out of the city and onto the interstate highways. Traffic is heavy, conditions are demanding, but the EV handles smoothly. Acceleration feels instant, torque is steady, and the ride is whisper quiet. More importantly, the energy data shows something remarkable. Instead of dropping like in a normal EV, the system replenishes itself. The battery percentage stays stable, almost surreal. People on the road notice. At a gas station where we stop just to check data, curious drivers approach. You didn't plug in? How is this running? We explain as best we can, but even with diagrams and charts, it feels like science fiction. And that's the magic of this car. It forces you to question everything you thought was possible. By the end of the first day, we've already driven over 300 miles. No charging stations, no fuel stops. The energy levels remain stable, as though the car simply refuses to run out. The second day brings tougher conditions. We head into Pennsylvania, climbing into the Appalachian Mountains. Steep inclines, long stretches of winding roads, and cooler air test the EV's resilience. Normally, uphill climbs drain EV batteries quickly. But here, the regenerative system seems to work even harder, capturing energy as we go. It's like watching a paradox. The harder the car works, the more energy it seems to find. Skeptical engineers following in support vehicles stare at their monitors, shaking their heads. This shouldn't be happening, one mutters. And yet, it is. The public reactions grow louder as news spreads online. Clips of the African EV driving without stopping go viral on social media. Comments flood in, some praising Africa's innovation, others calling it a scam. But the miles keep adding up, and the data doesn't lie. By day three, we're heading into the Midwest. Flatlands stretch for hundreds of miles, and the EV glides across them effortlessly. 
Farmers wave as the convoy passes by. Children point in excitement at the strange car from Africa that doesn't need gas. In Chicago, crowds gather again, reporters asking tough questions. What powers it? Is this really self-sufficient? Or is there a hidden trick? We invite them to inspect the car, to examine the diagnostics, to see the live energy readings. No plugs, no stops, no hidden fuel, tank, just continuous motion. Night falls and the EV keeps moving. Headlights cutting through the darkness, silence broken only by the hum of tires on the road. The sense of something historic happening grows stronger. Because this isn't just about one car. It's about a shift in possibility. It's about Africa presenting something to the world that could rewrite the rules of transportation. And here, on the open roads of America, that shift is unfolding mile by mile. Dawn rises over the Midwest, and the self-powered EV is still moving strong. By now, we've crossed more than 1,000 miles without a single stop to recharge. Skeptics said the system couldn't last this long. But the data shows consistency, stability, and an almost stubborn refusal to decline. The next challenge lies ahead, the vast and unforgiving Great Plains. Here the wind roars across open fields, temperatures swing drastically, and the endless stretches of road test both machine and driver. Hour after hour, the EV holds steady, its energy levels balancing like a perfect equation. We stop in a small Kansas town not to refuel, but to stretch and let locals see the car. Word spreads quickly. Farmers, students, and mechanics gather around, their eyes wide with disbelief. One man laughs nervously and says, I've worked on engines all my life. Cars don't run without fuel. This is impossible. And yet the evidence is right there in front of him. The car idling, powered, alive with no plug, no gas tank, no trick. Children climb inside, giggling as they imagine a future where no one ever worries about gas prices again. Their parents, cautious but intrigued, ask if this technology could power tractors, trucks, or even entire farms. The possibilities spark conversations that ripple through the crowd like wildfire. We get back on the road, and the EV shows no signs of fatigue. In fact, the longer we drive, the more the system seems to thrive. It's as if motion itself feeds the car, an elegant loop of endless energy. Crossing into Colorado, the real challenge begins, the Rocky Mountains. Steep climbs, thin air, unpredictable weather. A nightmare for any conventional EV. We prepare for the worst, fully expecting the system to falter. But as the ascent begins, the car surprises us again. Instead of struggling, it powers upward with steady force, energy flow stabilizing in ways no one thought possible. The regenerative dynamics of the system seem to feed on the challenge itself. Every sharp incline becomes an opportunity to prove resilience. At high altitudes, the temperature drops sharply. Snow begins to fall, blanketing the road in white. The EV's traction control kicks in, gliding across slick pavement without hesitation. Support vehicles slow down, but the African EV charges forward like it was designed for this. At a mountain pass, we stop to take stock. The view is breathtaking. A self-powered car from Africa standing tall against the backdrop of the Rockies. The symbolism is impossible to ignore. A machine born on African soil, now conquering one of America's most difficult landscapes without a single drop of fuel. We descend toward Denver, the car recovering energy as gravity aids the journey. The diagnostics show something extraordinary. The system is not just sustaining itself, it's actually building surplus. For the first time, the car ends a climb with more energy than it started with. The engineers following along are stunned. This is rewriting physics as we know it, one admits reluctantly. The journey continues west, pushing into the arid deserts of Utah and Nevada. Now heat becomes the enemy. In summer conditions, normal EVs lose range rapidly as batteries overheat and air conditioning drains reserves. But here, the self-powered EV seems unbothered. The system regulates itself, keeping temperatures balanced, maintaining power flow as though the desert heat is just another variable to overcome. The vast red landscapes of Utah become a stage for silent performance. Tourists stop on the roadside, taking pictures, asking questions. Where's the charging port? They demand. 
We point to the sealed frame, explaining again, there is none, no port, no plug, only the continuous cycle of energy that keeps the car alive. The reactions vary, disbelief, awe, suspicion, excitement. But one thing is clear, nobody forgets what they've just witnessed. As night falls in Nevada, we decide to push the car to its limit. A continuous 24-hour drive without stopping. No rest, no downtime, just the machine, the road, and the endless hum of innovation. Through the darkness, the EV glows with quiet determination. The desert wind howls outside, the stars spread across the sky, and inside the cabin the car feels alive, steady, unstoppable. By sunrise, we've covered another 700 miles. Exhausted drivers rotate, but the car never tires. Its power flow is as stable as it was on day one. In Las Vegas, the city of spectacle, the EV arrives like the ultimate show. Crowds swarm, cameras flash, and the headlines write themselves. African EV drives thousands of miles without charging. Onlookers swarm to see it, influencers post videos, and suddenly the car becomes more than a vehicle. It becomes a global phenomenon. But the final test still lies ahead California, with its mountains, its urban sprawl, and its demanding highways. Crossing into California, traffic intensifies. The EV weaves through highways packed with Teslas, Rivians, and traditional gas cars. Drivers roll down windows, pointing, shouting, what is that? The irony is undeniable. In the state most associated with EV innovation, it is an African car that captures everyone's attention. Climbing toward the Sierra Nevada mountains, we brace for one last brutal test. The roads wind endlessly, altitude rises again, and the EV must prove it can endure one final gauntlet. And yet, once more, it doesn't falter, thrives. The ascent feels smoother than ever, the regenerative cycle working like a symphony in perfect rhythm. By the time we descend into the valleys, the EV has proven something extraordinary. It hasn't just matched expectations, it has shattered them. From New York to California, from city to desert, from snow to heat, the car has traveled thousands of miles without charging once. No fuel, no plug, no failure, just relentless performance powered by its own system. The journey ends in Los Angeles, the city of dreams. The EV rolls into the heart of downtown, cameras capturing the moment, people chanting in awe. History has just been made. This African invention has conquered America's roads. And in doing so, it has opened the door to a future nobody can ignore.